Uh, it's all about having fun um, and enjoying each other's company and music. It was suggested to me, though, tonight that I would do something to also commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, having being of Armenian descent. So I wanted to try to do something that had both sor the sorrow of that time, but also the joy that we have here. And I'm going to do a, a poem that I've incorporated Siamanto, who was one of the poets who, who, was di who died that night. And he um, wrote this poem for another uh, massacre in the 1890s, and then once in 1908 in Adana. And then I'm going to do a song after that. So uh, I'll start off with this poem. It's called Siamanto's Voice. April 24th, 1915. Darkness fell on the land of Ararat. The water was not Noah's flood, but the tears of anguish. The premeditated genocide phase one. The Ottoman Turk government intent to annihilate the Armenian nation. Siamanto, our nation's renowned poet, your flesh died that night, but your heart and words endure. Your soul speaks tonight, April 24th, 2015, through me, another Armenian poet, celebrating a milestone with musicians and writers. Here is your voice in my voice. His poem, Thirst. My soul is listening to the death of the twilight. Kneeling on the faraway soil of suffering, my soul is drinking the wounds of twilight and of the ground. And within itself, it feels the raining down of tears. And all of the stars of slaughtered lives, so like to eyes grown dim, in the pools of my heart, this evening are dying of despair and of waiting. And the ghosts of all the dead tonight will wait for the dawn with mine eyes and my soul, perhaps to satisfy their thirst for life. A drop of light will fall upon them from on high.